The most successful video I ever made with Tom Sachs was an adaptation of a zine called Ten Bullets, written by Tom Sachs and the great John Ferguson. Ten Bullets is basically the Ten Commandments for working in Sax's studio. A very complicated place to work because Tom Sax's studio is world class. Ten Bullets the Video is a bit of a cult classic. It's sort of the fundamentals of how to work. And some labs at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory use it as an orientation video. There's folks out there with Ten Bullets tattoos. Ten Bullets is part of the Sax Studios built-in sort of vocational education system for his team members. The studios made dozens and dozens of zines. Sax is a great teacher, and inherent in probably all of these zines is an education in the Tom Sax production system, and probably into Tom Sax's brain if you dig deep enough. This one's probably my favorite of Sax's zines. It's uh, the owner's manual for Tom's impossibly complicated car, an unmarked cop car. As a graduate of the Tom Sachs educational vocation system, I feel compelled to continue his tradition in education by ripping him off and producing my own zines about my production system. This is how I made zine number one. I'll tell you what it's about at the end of the video and I'll tell you how to get one. Before binding the zine, I wrote out what I wanted to say in four inch wide columns, five pages total of type. I guess that 24 sides would be enough room once I added pictures. And I was right about that. So the zine is 24 pages long, including the front and back covers. That's six sheets of eight and a half inch by 11 inch cardstock folded in half. I decided on a title and cover, drew and painted it on the cardstock. That one was too big. And that one's better. Then I folded my six sheets of cardstock in half and bound them by hammering holes with a small nail down the spine and then sewing the leaves into a little booklet with heavy duty leather working thread. I believe in publishing a pack of pages like this is called a registration. We used one of these machines to lay out the kernel, my high school magazine. And I bought this one on eBay. It puts a really thin coat of adhesive wax on the back of the page so that you can stick it and unstick it to your layout. And 
It's purpose built for this exact job. The adhesive wax makes it so you can stick it and unstick it if you change your mind. Once you've committed to the layout you like, you rub the hell out of it with a spoon or a roller, and basically it sticks permanently. So within the zine, I sort of broke up the big ideas with imagery, so the zine is easier to read and refer to. Where can I find that Coppola quote? This is my hard copy of the zine, but I'm going to convert it to a PDF so that members of the Spirited Man Patreon can print out and bind their own copies of zine number one. I published this zine on Patreon in celebration of the first thousand patrons. So thank you, patrons. The next zine comes out when we get 2,000 patrons. Then when we get 3,000 patrons, a third zine, 4,000 patrons, a fourth zine. And each time a new one comes out, the previous one gets retired. Retired from the Patreon. So the people who've been there from the beginning, they stand to get the entire set of zines. So a thousand more Patreon slots available for this one. In closing, yes, this has been sort of a marketing drive for my Patreon page, which is sort of evolving into a sort of film school or maker school. It's five bucks a month. It's only five bucks. And this zine is about why you should or maybe shouldn't find a talent and earn a living from it. In the end, there's a little diagnostic to help you figure out if your thing is your thing. And there's a link to the Patreon right here.